Good afternoon, everyone. We're back again for another video. My name's Gavin. I'm here with my dad, Craig. And today is a very special day because we're doing my dad's favourite album of all time. Absolutely. Steely Dan, Asia. Yeah, I've been waiting for this one, Gav. Uh, like I said, this is just my favourite album of all time. It's a big statement to make. I've listened to it. I think it came out in 77. Yeah. My brother played it. Uh, Won't let you listen to it. No, I used to, have to listen outside his outside the lounge, uh, yeah. and it, it it just blew me away. I, I just absolutely love it. I think it's got everything you can possibly so want would, from a record. Would you have heard this literally from nineteen seventy seven? No, I probably after. heard it a few years after. I mean, right. sixty four, seventy four. So I'd be probably about 13. twelve, thirteen year old. So I probably would have heard it when it first came out because he never stopped playing it. He was yeah, absolutely yeah. all over it. Uh, since then, I've just been into Steely Dan all my life. Uh, They've I've, got about an endless amount of albums. They've got quite a lot boys. of albums out, yeah. And Donald Fagan, Walter Becker, the two the two guys. Obviously, Walter Becker's not with us anymore. Yeah. Uh, Fagan's still on the scene. Uh, Steely Dan are touring, doing a world tour with the Eagles. Yeah, uh, got tickets. We've that, got tickets you? this year. Absolutely for, for the UK concert. Can't wait for that. Yeah, absolutely yeah. buzzing for it. Well, just a bit of background for me. Obviously, I know Steely Dan. I know one track off this album, I think, Peg. Definitely know that track. There might be a couple of others yeah, on there. There might but be I one or two, yeah. So. yeah. Basically, growing up, I remember you playing this in the car. Oh, so God, yeah. I played it numerous times. Played when you were younger. Yeah. When I, I was playing younger for years. and stuff, yeah. Yeah. So that's my take on it. So it'd be good Got to react to one of yours today, won't it? Yeah, but it'd be just good to sort of see your reaction to it as yeah. well because you've never listened to the full album. I mean, to me, it's... God, it's an album. Yeah. <laughs> it's album just now. the absolute bollocks for me, this album. I think yeah. it's got everything. I'm getting slightly emotional. <laughs> <laughs> slightly excited. Just lastly, when was last time you listened to this? Uh, about four days ago. All oh, right. In bed with my headphones right. on. Fair enough. What were you going to say about five years ago? <laughs> I was prepping myself for this. Please keep subscribing if you, uh, if you like our content. Put a like on and let's get into it. Yeah, please do. Press that subscribe button. Yeah. And it'd be much appreciated. Thank give, you very much. Give us some comments, which I'm sure we'll get plenty on this. Hopefully, <laughs> all good ones. Better yeah. be us. I'll be. Yeah. I'll be having a go back. <laughs> uh, cool, mate. Straight into it. Track number one: Black Cow. What mm. quirky lyrics on this, Gav? Some stuff you'll probably get your head round. They were pretty renowned for writing some quirky mm. shit. Production don't sound dead. Of my eye. I saw you in Rudy's. You were very high. You were high. It was a crying disgrace. They saw your face on the counter by your keys and your remedies. Sure, this has been sampled since. Yeah, they've been sampled to death, Steely Dan tracks, especially off this album. Yeah. Production's superb, isn't it? It is for 1977, oh, uh, it's through the roof, isn't it? Name of a drink in it, obviously. Yeah. yeah, black cow. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is. Doesn't sound dated, does. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just sophistication in it. It's just on another level. It's yeah. just so cool. Such perfectionists as well. Just incredible. Honestly, that production sounds fucking amazing. Incredible, Gavin. It. 
just hit the peak with this album, you know, it just, yeah. just, it was like, God, no. You can hear so many inspirations from other artists that you can tell, yeah. you know, just in what I'm hearing. They're just mass- massively uh, influential band, aren't they, you know, to, I think to every sort of genre of music, they oh. just they just go right across the rail with it all. Swagger. It's just got it all going on for me. I, I just absolutely love it. Smooth, isn't it? Yeah. Saxophone coming in and everything, it's just got it all on it, it's just great. Love the bass line. Mm. Little stops in it and then. Um. Back of my mind, I think I've heard that. You probably will, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like obviously the, there's tracks that you've heard on this that mm. have been sampled numerous times and stuff. It, it's just an iconic album. It's, yeah. it's got it's got everything going on. I can't believe uh, how up to date it feels. Does it really? Yeah, honestly, yeah, the, yeah. mainly the production. You know, yeah. the sound. I don't know whether has it been remastered. I'm not. sure. I think it has been remastered at one point. Yeah, uh, but I mean, 1977. It's outrageous. I'd be, I'd be like 12 year old or something was ridiculous. Like 47 years ago, yeah. pushing 50 it's years old. Just incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. But the bell don't don't. Yeah, Down. there's just that's little licks in there that someone, you pick up on. Yeah, someone's yeah. had that on one of the songs, yeah. like a bit of an hip hop. Quite a lot of hip hop artists have used, uh, you know, like a lot of samples out of this. Yeah, well, they pop up everywhere. Of course, and it's, it. like I say, it's forty odd years old. Bits of movies. Yeah, something comes on. Yeah, you know, somebody walks into a bar even, and there's a bit of a sample of, you know, this yeah, is playing yeah. in the background as they walk in. I've seen that numerous times. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying anyway. I mean, Steely Dan are my favourite band of all time. Yeah, well. you love them, don't it's you? Just, like I said, I remember being a kid, you taking me to school 30 years ago or whatever, and <laughs> Steely Dan were always on it card, you know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. Yeah, brilliant. What were you on now, Paul, you see? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I said, but I've, I've never listened yeah. to an album, I've just heard, you know, tracks here and there, I've never played an album in its entirety. Yeah, I think it, it's one of them, isn't it? It's like, it, it, it's just, it, it's probably down to like your age as well, and like mm. your maturity, you know what I mean? 18, 19 year old, you're probably not going, although I said that, I was listening to it when I was probably 13, 14, 15, yeah. you know what I mean? But my influence was my brother used to play all yeah. these albums, not just this album, I mean all Steely Dan's all. albums. And the, this was like the the pinnacle for me. They yeah. were absolutely it here and it was awesome. Is it, is it between this and Gaucho that people, is that what they say is? Yeah, sort of like Gaucho. If you, if, if you go off these polls and things, I mean, this and Gaucho are probably on par with each other. Yeah. Personally, Asia for me, I, I think Asia just comes out just it. about on, on top, but who really cares? Well, it's each individual it depends what you think, anyway, into it? it? Yeah. But I've got to say that Steely Dan, all their albums are really, really good. Shit up. Yeah. Sounding good so far. Let's cool, crack on. Yeah. Next track, title of the album, Asia. Some beautiful things going on in, on this track, girl. Fantastic. Up on the hill, people never stand. They just don't care. It's got such a distinctive voice, hasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't the original singer back in the day as well, no.
have it just floats mm. in and out like you know like yeah comes off back of a verse and speeds up doesn't it and slows down yeah like this oh, it cuts off quick there doesn't it yeah just watch where it goes now gov yeah i'll be into a big instrumental just that vibe it gives you the vibe it's like it's just there isn't it It's been a good mood. Yeah, it's, oh, it's been a good mood. It's quite a. You can listen to it at night time, day time, holiday in the summer. Yeah, yeah, it's summer. just got it all. It's obviously got an oriental sort of mm, uh, feel going on, vibe going on to it. Yeah, same Japanese yeah, art, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Right, it said Chinese music earlier. But... Yeah. Sounds like Pat Metheny, that. Yeah, it is a bit Pat. <laughs> Another one of my favourites. Pat Metheny. Fantastic. Two main guitarists on this, Jeff Skunk Baxter and a guy called Denny Diaz, play with play with Dan from the early days. Right. Absolutely fantastic, very very well respected guitarists. Journey to me, it just sends you, on, sends you off somewhere and then comes back, back round again. It's incredible. Oh, okay, hell, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Reminds yeah. me of Pat Metheny, or? Yeah, it is a bit that sort of sound. Mm. It's like jazzy guitar, isn't it? Guitars. A rocky sort of jazz feel to it, fusion. Some cool drumming here, Gav. they're going back to the first verse so up on the hill didn't they just go oh, back so yeah 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 it's clever isn't it just, mm. it just sends you somewhere and then it just all of a sudden comes back down to sort of earth again or reality mm. it's cinematic isn't it the, yeah the, uh, mm. instrumental yeah up on the hill, cool that isn't it mm. okay. oh, yeah so To define it all, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Angular banjos. It's banjos on an angle. I don't know. <laughs> Drum that, innit? Yeah. Just listen, I'll be doubles up here now. Oh, 
Nelson. Triangle next. Oh, jazz, isn't it? And just goes on one, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Like a, it's like a yeah. Yeah. atmosphere. It's sort of like a synth going in the back or something, yeah. That's a fucking masterpiece, that one, isn't it? Sorry for the swearing. I keep <laughs> swearing it. But. Title track, Gavasia. Fantastic, that one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's is fantastic. What do you think it was? <laughs> Some fallout. Yeah, it was shit, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Nice one, mate. There you go. It's, it's just mind blowing that it's 47 years old. Yeah, it's incredible. You know I mean? How old were these when these were doing this? They've got to be in their early 20s or something, I'd have early thought. 20s. I mean, I'm not sure how, how old Donald Fagan is now. He must be, blimey, it's, it's got to be it's got to be 70 or 71 or something like that. Right. I could be wrong, I could be way out there. I don't think he's much older than that, but. Uh, so he'd be in, uh, yeah, late 20s, something like that. Be in the 20s, yeah. wouldn't they? Yeah, just dudes, weren't they? And obviously. Quirky characters as well, but yeah. uh, just fantastic. Just going back to what I was saying before, I think when they first started off Steely Dan, there was a guy that meant to be like the lead singer. I think they brought. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. they did an album with him. I don't know what happened after that. And then anyway, he yeah, got you mentioned sort of he was yeah, yeah. Uh, supposed to be the main singer. Not originally, no. And then he, he sort of stepped in. Then you know, right. and they did Reeling in the Years and Do It Again and all tracks like that. And off right. they went from there, which again, yeah. endless tracks being sampled a million God, times. You couldn't imagine anyone else singing this, could you? No, a, no, no, it's amazing, isn't it? There's, yeah. there's quite a few early clips. There's loads of clips out. There was a couple of early clips of some early, early uh, Steely Dan songs. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a guy, you know, obviously singing away right. there, and there's somebody else. Uh, sorry, yeah. Donald Fagan's on piano and stuff like that, and you think. Donald Fagan, piano, this guy's singing. But yeah, then what's going you, on? Yeah, but then when you, right. as it as it progresses. Yeah, interesting. The man takes over. And what and a job he's done. Brilliant, yeah, absolutely brilliant. On to the next track, which is Deacon Blues. Just a bit of insight on this one. I'm pretty sure that this track's about a, a guy who gave up everything to sort of become a famous saxophone player working in a bar or a club or whatever he was doing. He'd just give it all, all, all the way to say... I want to play my saxophone and make money out of that, as far as I'm aware. Right. There's a band called Deacon Blue as well, isn't there? Yeah, a British band, yeah. They think pretty sure that they named themselves after this, this, yeah, this uh, title of this track. It's like his outtake on it and looking at what's going on and thinking, I've had enough of this, yeah. I'm going to play my sax. Hence that line there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just sort of bye bye to everything and I'm going for it. I've already bought the dream, he's already bought his sack. Yeah. Is that what he's saying? He's made his mind up, hasn't he? Yeah. As it comes now. Fucking hell, that sounds good, doesn't it? Great line. Isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. It's just so smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's just cool, isn't it? Super chilled, isn't it? It's 
catchy at the same time. It's yeah. got everything oh, going on it. Yeah, can you imagine watching this? Yeah. Just in a little bar. Yeah. Him just blasting out the sound. Stunning, track. stunning, wasn't it? Nice little jazz bar something. As I approach the stand, he's like thinking, right, I've got to get up now. This is my moment. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll be what I want to be. Great. Love this guitar in this ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hand in your left, and I'll pick you one, yeah. Loving this, man. Like it, mate. Yeah, yeah cool. It. I'm glad you do. Yeah. <laughs> just puts me in a chilled out the mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just got a nice feel to it, hasn't it? Well, nice feel. It's got a fantastic feel to it to me. Yeah. It's just the vibe of the song. It's free and easy, yeah. happy go lucky. It's got brilliant instruments going on. The mix of it is through the roof. Great lyrics. It's just the bollocks for me, man. Yeah. Makes want to go on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to be in LA or somewhere, don't you? Or just cruising somewhere, I don't know, in a nice yeah. big car with some yeah. tunes like this, Chilling. blasting out and sunshine. Or just in a bar with it. I don't yeah, we're in a bar cigar. just listening to it, yeah. Dark, yeah. dimmed room with a big fat cigar. Yeah, a big smoke. fat cigar. Yeah. <clears throat> Not that go, I smoke guitars. Uh, guitars. Smoke guitars, Cig like cigars. Well. <laughs> yeah. Tune that, Gavin. Tune, mate, yeah. Absolute tune. Yeah, it's just timeless, isn't it? Something it's just, like that. It's just awesome, isn't it? Completely timeless. It'll never sound dated, that, will it? No. Do you know what I mean? And there's a documentary of the making of Asia with them two on it, just going through it all and everything. It's fantastic, honestly. It's what, really interesting. Got together? Oh, the making of this yeah, album. Yeah, it's the making Sorry. of the album, mainly. You know, like, yeah. it just goes, just shows them going through everything and where they got the ideas from and the amount of musicians oh, that they, they went through. Were they dead particular? Oh, they, they were just said proper, like, absolute. They just knew exactly what they wanted yeah. and they were just trying to find it. Yeah. And the amount of musicians that they had in, I mean, S Steve Gadd and... Jeff Picaro, drummers, uh, guitarists through the roof, a yeah. lot of different brass players, everything. All these top session guys, they used to drag them in and get them in and kind of say, sorry, it's not for us. Or, really? You, you, you know what I mean? So uh, they had this vision of perfection and absolutely. they weren't prepared to settle yeah. for anything Perfection less sort of, and the, the sophistication yeah, behind it all, which mm. is in themselves, isn't it? It's there, isn't it? It's, they knew what they wanted yeah. and... Boy, did they get it eventually with this album? Exactly. And Gaucho's the same. They're all brilliant albums. Which one came first, by the way? This came in '77. I think Gaucho were about '81. I think. Or oh, Gaucho's after. Yeah, right, okay. about, yeah, about three or four years later. I think so. Yeah. Fair enough. Equally as good, just not quite as good as Asia for me because yeah. I heard this first. I think. On to the next track, which I have heard. We've both heard. Peg. Yeah. Been sampled a lot of times. A lot of times. A lot of times. Yeah. Let's Kind of a cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. It pal. is Friday. Friday. Cheers, Paul. Cheers. I've never actually looked at the lyrics of this. Yeah, they're cool, yeah.
pin shot. How hard is it to not fucking sing here? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know this door, I just want to belt it out. <laughs> it's killer because I know every lyric to every yeah. song. I'm hard. Forgot to mention that uh, obviously Michael McDonald sees backing vocals on this one, Gav. Yeah. Doobie Brothers are just him. No, just him on his own on this one, yeah. Took about a million takes to get the pitch right in his voice. Very high. Her guitar's just come out for a minute. I, I had to do it. <laughs> Needs restringing. Yeah. I like your pitch shot. What a tune. Oh. I keep it with your letter. What is it? Pin shot? Pin shot. It's like a. I think it's like a little tiny it's picture, I think. I think so. You pin shot. And when you smile for Seems like it's about. A model done it and she's probably either a bit past it or she's failed and right. she's now coming back on trying to get her back on scene or I, I could be wrong. Peg will come back to And it. I should know. It's been that long. Favourite bit is this bit, how it comes down now. Yeah, just like dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's cool, isn't and it? And then uh, goes back to peg. Yeah, and then yeah. it's a high again. Yeah. So he was really particular about the pitch of Michael McDonald's voice, were they, on that? Yeah, they just said that they had to... he really does go yeah, to track Because he's got such a fantastic voice, hasn't he? But it would just, I think they said that, I think they did it with everybody. They were that fussy and that particular about it. And he was a good mm. friend of theirs as well. Yeah. And I think they just had to, to get what they... It just sounds exactly like they just done wanted, it. The perfection yeah. of no, it's got to be. A, it's got to. You've got to reach this pitch. Wow, yeah. You've got to get it to so this. A higher octave. Ah, a higher octave. Not the. It would have. Where? 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 It's hard up there, isn't it? Just Sorry like, about that. Just like that. <laughs> well, I have one beer. I've got half a beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, super. I've heard that song a thousand times. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's just every, a every brilliant song track. It. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. On to the next track, which is Home at Last. I think this is Bernard Purdy on drums playing this one. Uh, Can you hear a bit of reggae? A little bit of reggae. It's the drum. It's is the it? drums, Gav. Yeah, known as the the Purdy Shuffle. Fantastic drummer, like a scutter. Yeah, the reggae has gone now. Well, that, yeah. It's like a that line, vibe, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I fucking love this one, man. Whether they there in me subconscious, I've like heard them but not heard them. You know, like when I were a child or something. Yeah. I don't know. It's like me. they burnt on me. You burnt them on me brain. It's me brainwashing <laughs> you to death, mate. I've been trying for about forty <laughs> years now, and I think you've, I think you've now got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Laser. Still I remain tied to 
so sleazy and cool, it's just unbelievable. It's how it just transitions into that. Yeah, yeah. Just dips, done it, and then he bumps. Great guitars just floating about in back in your and your headphones are amazing. There's just so much going on that yeah. just goes perfectly together, doesn't it? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And then something else. It's a masterpiece, mate, isn't it? It's a masterpiece. Yeah. Gonna say it again next, didn't he? I knew we were gonna come in though. Beautiful sound that isn't it? What was it? I'm not sure, I'm not sure now. I think it might have been keyboard, I'm not sure. Or a trumpet or something. Great guitar. that reggae drum come back in now Gavin right. so that, I'm gonna say the reggae's gone yeah you know that that beat <laughs> yeah do you want me to guitar for you hey no. <laughs> <laughs> bass player me mate I can't even play that very well <laughs> I look quite impressive on her guitar. Yeah. <laughs> That's an her guitar, though. That was my favourite one, that, so far. Yeah, I could tell your action straight yeah. away, though. You were kind of, oof, you know... Yeah, I'd have to say... Obviously, I, I know Peg anyway. Yeah, I know, know you do, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. That, Possibly that. a couple of others, like you said, Deacon Blue, you might have heard... Jo well, Josie's coming up next, you might have heard that. Yeah, they just, like I said... Uh, you would I know have heard Kid them. Charlemagne, I know, you know, yeah. loads of other ones yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, some, some of the other stuff, yeah. I look at the titles and I think I've not heard them and then they come on and I think somewhere in the yeah, back yeah, of your deep yeah. memory, I've, you'll have, yeah. I'll have heard them in the yeah. background with you, yeah. but uh, so far I'd have to say that with the uh, standout. standout one for you, yeah. really, yeah. Right. This might change your mind. <laughs> Carry yeah, on. let's see, let's see. Carry on. Next track, Brilliant. I Got The News. Just straight in, aren't they? Yeah. Quirky one, this, but it's just got that same This one doesn't again. sound familiar at all. I don't Not, think you'll have heard this no. one, to be honest with you. This one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Probably a grower more for you, this one, I think, Gav. You know, when she hear the album a few times, mm. this is one that does. It will grip you. Donald, here we go. Sped up a bit, aren't it? Cool, this bit, that way. Uh, it's 
growing on me this already. Yeah. Just changes around and it switches about a bit, it's cool. Doesn't sound dated to me at all. Good. It's timeless, isn't it? It's mad. Yeah. Wow. Piano, isn't it? Mm. Little. Some else come in there. It's like a, some sort of chime, like a ding, 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 ding. It's like the thing that you hit with a... Yeah, I don't know. It's called xylophone, is it? Yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah. You can tell look, how much attention to detail oh. they've put on this. Do you know what I mean? Can you imagine trying to get the mix right on this? It's through the roof, isn't it? You just have the whole album. You think, what the fuck? Do you get your levels right. You know, it's incredible. The one, that, uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Mm. I like how they put it to the background. It's like the... Yeah. the it's not in your face, no, is it? Like? it's right in the back, isn't it? It's all the mix, isn't it? The, the mix is so important, isn't it? Mm. It's just getting them balanced right, you know? But someone's here to say, no, I don't want that up front, that yeah. guitar. I want that way in the back, you know? So you, you can only... Incredible. You know, anyone that's not a muso yeah. might only pick up on that after the 20th listen, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah, yeah superb. That. Tune in super. it, yeah. I, I must admit, I think the first... Didn't quite get you at first, did no, I? No, the what first you mean. minute, I was yeah. a bit... Mm, it's, I'm not saying it was bad or anything, but, you know, it you felt... not say it's bad. It felt like the weakest one, and then, no, I think Michael McDonald came in, and yeah. it just, yeah, it went on. There's a few that. transitions where it just changes the course of where it's going, doesn't it? And then all of a sudden it... You know, you like you say, Michael, da, 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 da. Yeah. goes on, goes yeah. on one, done it, and that next minute, Michael it, McDonald, he only did about four lines in that, didn't he? Yeah, he doesn't do very no, much, but no, it's just but done it add to it. Yeah, though, oh, you know, massively. Well, what, what I noticed <laughs> about that track though was how particular they must be. You know what you said it's through the roof. You could just it, see yeah. little intricacies here yeah. and there, little things that you, you know, the average ear probably wouldn't hear. Yeah, and just the attention to detail is what I would say. It's just incredible. It's like. I mean, obviously, I, I do it with my music, and, and you, you just you, you can hear things. Sometimes you think, yeah, that that guitar sounds nice, that bass line, that beat's good, and you think, nice keyboard, and you, as your song starts progressing, you think you're coming to a bit of a bridge now, and you kind of think, I might just add something here, you know, mm. like, and then you might add a, you know, a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a chime or something, yeah. a triangle. It just all sort of, it all sorts to blend in then, and you think. I'm on. I'm onto some of these. I'm onto some of But I think. Things. I think with these, what these seem to do is they, they could. Uh, they could add something so subtle, and it would probably take them yeah. hours to work out what they add yeah. into it. And they'd probably stop the whole production of the album yeah. until they found this. Yeah. This. Yeah. Per and then when it comes in, the average listener probably wouldn't even hear it. But to no, these guys, you, you can you tell. No pick up. This on isn't it. complete until. Yeah. We've found There's something it. missing. Yeah. There's something missing. There's we need to just find. Right. That's what I was trying to get at a minute ago. There are a few things I was hearing. Something. Yeah. Normally, you hear stuff in the background. This is like way in the background. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's just so much bits of shit going on. It's just attention to detail, things, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, superb, mate. I thought it brilliant. Great stuff, mate. I'm glad you liked it. Cool. On to the last track, which have I you think heard, I've heard. I'm sure I've heard. Some power with Peg. It was a popular one. Probably not as, as sampled as much as Peg, but I think it. I think it was a single, Josie. I'm sure it was. Uh, but yeah, final track. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but yeah. Let's go for it, shall we, mate? Let's have it. Josie, you're not going to get upset, are you, that it's about to finish? It's not about an ex girl I've never had an ex-girlfriend called nor Josie. That the so. album, <laughs> nor that the album's about to finish. Oh, I'm all pissed off. Yeah, I go straight into <laughs> Gaucho for me, and then I go backwards <laughs> and do the Royal Scam, and then do all the rest of them. Well, if we get some... Pretzels if people want to see them, we'll do them. them. People want to see them, we'll do them. Well, that's the idea, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we'd love to do some more stuff. Certainly, we'll, I'll do all Steely Dan stuff, me, but like you said... We'll have to see what uh, people so want. We might as well. get one view and no one wants to fucking see it again. But it's still it, man. If we don't get a few on this one, I'll be golf's mate. But you yeah. just never know. You I, never I know. love listening to them anyway. I'll do anything. So cool, mate. Let's go. Last track, Josie. Josie. That's a very country. That then. Josie. Amer American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic track. This. Yeah, I know it. Another great vibe. Oof. 
sleep on the beach of Mecca. Wow. I wish. They always do that, yeah. that sort of like a slide. Yeah. Good tune this. They're just it's just this is just a top album. I just love it. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Like they're going into battle or something. Oh, strike at the stroke of midnight, pulling a girl. That's the one. She's been out all night, hasn't she? She is cheating. I don't know. I don't really know. Guitars out, they're mixed together there. There's about yeah. pick four different riffs going on there, and that bass is the back. It's awesome. Two guitars and a bass. That's what I can hear. Sounds like about three, about three, okay. maybe four, four, four layers of guitar in the back, possibly there. Yeah. Keyboard. Background, isn't it? Yeah. Well. She's the raw flame, the live wine. She plays like a Roman with her eyes on fire. Brilliant. Mm. That's a famous riff, there, isn't it? That's been sampled a few times, hasn't it? <laughs> Couch or next, mate? You want to go straight in? <laughs> straight to couch or now. You better gaucho. get the beers in. I know, yeah. Couch or roll scam and uh, pretzel lodger. Yeah. Yeah, last track that, wasn't it? Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? It's weird because when I was younger listening to it, it felt like this album went on for about two hours to me. Yeah, 38 minutes. 38 minutes of absolute masterclass genius to me, that. It's super. It's incredible, isn't Superb, it? Superb, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed yeah. it, Gav. It's the first time I, you... I, well, I was a bit worried to think, you know, it might sound dated now, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Way ahead, not. weren't it? Way ahead of its time. Yeah. Way ahead. It's Way just ahead. incredible. You sometimes see films, don't you, from the 70s, and you think... Everyone's learnt from this. Yeah. It still looks well today, and that's exactly the same. I tell, I tell you what amazes me or something. I think I, I mentioned this to you the other week. Somebody made a comment on one of these social media things. Uh, could have been somebody on on Facebook or something who said, "How come that in when you go out in London and you go into well, you a lot of this. yeah, I don't know how true it is. Students, yeah, well, not I don't know if it was students or not. It could have been, but well, probably more, more than likely the same. That like, how come that when you go out in London nowadays to all these hip bars and these all these mega places, they're all playing Steely Dan tracks, Steely Dan songs, right? And someone was saying. Who's this Steely Dan? I absolutely love him. And I'm thinking... Who's this Steely Dan? Well, yeah, yeah well, well, this is what it's like, isn't it? It's mm. like me not being familiar with half of these art, these hip-hop artists, some, yeah. of, you know, some, of, some of these guys. Well, this is where people listen to stuff, don't they? But they yeah. don't actually appreciate where stuff actually came from originally. Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? yeah. But it, was, it just... It got, I thought, Steely Dan everywhere, you know? I thought, wow, I need to get down to London. I mean, we're, we're about 20 minutes away from Manchester. Yeah, maybe it's had a, like a bit of a reabsurgence, whatever you call well, it. People but. have just realised that the the best band on the planet well one of the best bands on the planet stunning. for some people but yeah, stunning. I, I think it's that timeless timeless sound isn't it it's very it sleek timeless. very sleazy it's, it's, it's just done a big circle and it's all kind of a bit popular well it's hard it? for you to say it's timeless because you love it and you've been grow, do, grow yeah. up with it yeah. but yeah with me not yeah. It's, it, yeah. it is timeless I'm telling you that, that sound there is sounds phenomenal even now Undated. do you know what I mean yeah, it'll just it'll just sound mega. It's like it's like they laid the foundations there for everyone else to go. Yeah, you see how it's yeah. done. You go and do what you for want this, to do with for it for that kind of style of music I, and stuff. I think yeah. so. And uh, a lot of hip hop have sampled. I know they have. Yeah, uh, Steely Dan. The Kanye I, West, I think, has done 
two or three things. I've heard, I've heard loads. I yeah. would imagine that a lot of our uh, our sort of followers, do you call them followers? People that subscribers. follow us. Subscribers, Same sorry, thing, yeah. yeah. And obviously people that watch us as well. Uh, I don't know too much about the age group that's out there, but I can imagine that an awful lot of them will have heard of Steely Dan. Yeah, yeah, well. No doubt about again, it. Again, in the comments, let us know. And whether they like them or they hate them. Yeah. It is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. But there you go, Gav. Yeah, superb. Me reacting to one of yours there and uh, thoroughly Thanks, enjoyed Matt. it. It's been a long time coming. Thanks, Paul. Uh, if if you did enjoy the video, obviously, the usual, like, sub, if you want to. Uh, if you do want us to stick on Steely Dan or go back down that road. Please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they were let, fingers crossed, by the way, then. Look. <laughs> let us know in the comments uh, yeah, if you great. do and mainly what album you want us to go on next. Obviously, there's loads more, so... Uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that again. Did do, mate. Fantastic. Thanks. Great yeah. from what we've Good. been doing. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Loved just it. glad that you've listened to it all the way through that, Gav. I'm yeah. kind of on, on a first listen for the whole album, but I know for a fact you'll be you'll be taking yeah. that one away with you and you'll be, you'll be banging it on. Superb. So yeah, catch you on the next one. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers.